trying to learn kanji? Click here to get a free ebook and study along with this lesson. Hi everyone! Welcome to the Japanese Kanji video series. In this lesson, you'll learn the day radical. Take a look at these kanji characters. Can you guess what they mean? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to grasp the meaning behind these kanji characters. First off, can you spot the radical that's common in all of these kanji characters? It's this part here. This particular radical is called hi or hi hen. The day radical is used in some of the most common kanji characters. Let's take a look at it in more detail. The day radical is a kanji character on its own. It's a pictogram of the sun, and it means sun or day. From left to right, the first kanji means sun or day, the second means bright, the third character means time, and the fourth character means projection or reflection. The first kanji is actually one of two kanji characters used to write Japan. As we mentioned before, the first kanji means sun, and the second character means root. Since Japan is to the east of China, and the sun rises from the east, Japan is written as the land where the sun originates. Or more commonly, the land of the rising sun. The second kanji has the day radical on the left, and this other character on the right, which means moon. The sun and moon together are depicting daybreak, where the sky changes rapidly from night into day. And so the meaning of this character is bright. The next kanji has the day radical on the left, and this other character on the right, which means temple. In historic times, the time of day was announced by chiming a large bell at the temple. So day and temple together means time. The fourth kanji has the day radical on the left again, and this other character meaning the center or middle of a person's body. The character on the right is actually a pictograph of a man. A man standing next to the sun alludes to the idea of something being reflected or projected, which is the meaning of this kanji. Okay, let's move on. The day radical will usually appear in the left position. As seen in the original examples for bright, time, and reflect or project. When the day radical is part of another kanji character, it shrinks in size. Okay, now let's learn how to write this radical. The day radical is written in four strokes. The first stroke is a vertical stroke that starts on the left and goes from top to bottom. The second stroke is a tall right hand corner. It connects with the first stroke and goes left to right, bends, and then goes straight down. The third stroke is a horizontal stroke that occurs at the halfway point and goes left to right. The fourth and final stroke is a horizontal stroke, closing out the box. And that's it, you're done. When the day radical is a kanji on its own, it can be read as Nichi for the on reading, and hi for the kun reading. And when the day radical is part of another kanji, mei, aka, for the bright kanji, ji, toki, for the time kanji, and ei, utsu, for the reflect or project kanji. In this lesson, you learned about the day radical. The day radical looks like this, and it represents the sun or day. You also learned the kanji characters for sun or day, bright, time, and reflect or project, in which this radical appears. It usually appears in the left position, and it's written with four strokes, one vertical, a right-hand corner stroke, and two horizontal strokes. In the next lesson, you'll learn about another common radical used in some of the most common and basic kanji characters, the movement radical. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye!